In the last two decades, computer monitors have experienced swift changes, propelled by improvements in panel technology, graphics processing and design, guided both by user experiences and market forces. The shift from bulky CRTs to ultra-thin high-resolution, high-refresh rate panels has enabled new use cases, from office use to professional content creation, to competitive gaming and immersive virtual reality workstations. The evolution of monitors was closely aligned to the evolution of graphics cards and integrated graphics, with each step down the evolutionary path enabling better performance and increased possibilities. So what have been the milestones of this journey? By 2005, the traditional CRT designs, that's cathode ray tube, have largely been replaced by LCD panels. These liquid crystal displays have revolutionised the design and use of monitors. They provide lower power requirements, a lighter weight and a flat form factor. The bulky CRT monitors did take up a lot more desk space. Anything above a 17-inch monitor was excessively bulky and heavy. Now with flat panels becoming mainstream, it was possible to envisage more than one monitor on your desk. By 2007 came the introduction of edge-lit LED backlighting, providing both brighter and thinner panels as well as improved energy efficiency and better contrast. Step forward to 2009 and full high-definition panels, that's 1920 by 1080 have now reached consumer price parity. 24-inch monitors are rapidly becoming the new standard size, with higher pixel density giving clearer text and media display. By 2012, IPS, that's in-plane switching technology, is now mainstream allowing wider viewing angles and more accurate colours. These are starting to be preferred for graphics work and multi-monitor setups. In 2013, 4K UHD panels, that's 3840 by 2160, start appearing on desktops, with 24-inch screens delivering 163 pixels per inch and the beginning of retina-grade desktop imaging. In just a year later, 2014, the first curved and ultra-wide monitors launch with ratios of 21 to 9 and 32 to 9, giving an immersive field of view and reduced head movement. Despite the increased cost, they do provide gains in productivity, multiple windows per monitor and better gaming immersion. 2015 saw the emergence of monitors with higher refresh rates, of 120 and 144 hertz, much in demand by gamers, delivering a faster frame delivery and reduced motion blur, triggering the birth of competitive esports display standards. In 2016, technology advanced even further with the introduction of HDR, that's high dynamic range support, allowing for a broader color spectrum and improved contrast ratios. This allowed more realistic image reproduction, especially for media. By 2017, G-Sync and FreeSync adaptive syncs were widely adopted, allowing variable refresh rates and eliminating tearing and stutter. 2018 saw the introduction of mini LED backlighting, allowing local dimming in pro monitors with near OLED contrast, higher peak brightness, giving professional-grade colour grading and HDR performance. Jump forward to 2020, and we can see the first 8K panels. This is 7680 by 4320 on 32-inch displays. With 280 pixels per inch allowing unprecedented detail, early adopters were CAD, medical imaging, and high-end content creation. By 2021, OLED had reached the desktop monitor market, giving true blacks, infinite contrast, and fast responses. These monitors were ideal for video editing, design, and low-latency gaming. 
in 2022, QD OLED, that's quantum dot displays, appear for desktops. This quantum dot color boost technology provides an expanded color spectrum and OLED contrast. By 2023 to 2024, prototypes of micro LED and mini LED on silicon panels start appearing. These have self-emissive pixels with no burn-in and high brightness, and could lead the way for the next generation of mainstream displays. Now in 2025, we are looking at hybrid EcoSync panels, with variable refresh and AI-driven power scaling. Having integrated sensor-based refresh, 10-bit colour and using 90% less power providing balanced performance, eye comfort and sustainability. So what have been the major improvements by category? Resolution and pixel density. From Full HD 1080p through 4K, 5K and 8K pixel density grew from 80 ppi on 22 inch screens to greater than 280 pixels per inch on 32 inch screens. Retina grade displays of 300 ppi are now common for professional workstations, reducing visible pixelation. Panel technology A TN, twisted pneumatic display, gives a fast response of between 1 and 2 milliseconds, with the advance of low cost and high refresh rates, and is ideal for budget gaming or general use. IPS in-plane switching displays. These provide wide viewing angles and accurate colour representation and are ideal for photo or video editing. VA or vertical alignment panels are a type of LCD display technology that uses liquid crystals aligned vertically and provides high contrast. With a balanced cost and performance, they are ideal for home theatre and office use. LED backlit LCD panels provide edge lit or direct lit LEDs and are thin and low power, common in the general consumer market. Many LED panels provide contrast and of local dimming zones, near OLED contrast and high brightness. Found in ProGrade high dynamic range displays. OLED panels giving self-emissive true black with infinite contrast, fast response and are found in high-end creative premium gaming monitors. QD OLED QLED panels providing quantum dots for wider spectrum, supporting the DCI P3 colour space and high brightness. In use for colour critical work, providing 25% more colour depth than sRGB monitors. The emerging micro LED panels with pixel level LEDs and no burn in, giving extreme brightness and long life, shaping up to be the future flagship displays. Refresh rate and adaptive sync. Refresh rates for monitors can range now from 60 to 120. 240 and even 360 Hz for gaming monitors. Adaptive Sync, FreeSync, G-Sync, Adaptive Sync over DisplayPort. These eliminate tearing and stutter, allowing the monitor to match GPU frame output dynamically to provide a better viewing experience. High Dynamic Range and Color Spectrum HDR10, HDR10+, and Dolby Vision support became common on desktop monitors from 2020 onwards. Wide colour spectrums, sRGB to Adobe RGB and DCI P3 and eventually to Rec 2020. 10-bit panels, often via frame rate conversion, provided smoother gradients, crucial for grading and scientific visualisation. Form factor and ergonomics. For aspect ratios, the move from 4 to 3 to 16 to 9 widescreen and then to 21 to 9 and 32 to 9 super ultra wide. These changes provided more horizontal workspace and were ideal for immersive gaming. 
For screen curvature, the move from flat screens to 1800R, 1500R and 1000R. Reduced eye strain and consistent focal distance. The R value indicated the radius of the curve in millimetres. A lower number means a tighter, more pronounced curve, while a higher number means a gentler curve. For bezel sizes, the move has been to reduce the size of the bezel from really thick down to less than 2mm, giving a true borderless bezel around the monitor. This lends itself to continuity for multi-monitor use, where you cannot see the join between monitors. Adjustability Monitors are now infinitely more adjustable than they used to be, going from only allowing to tilt now to having height adjustment, swivel, pivot and even VESA mounts, giving better ergonomics and reduced strain. For eye care, we now have flicker-free screens using DC dimming, and the option of all blue light modes for evening and night use. This helps to mitigate fatigue and improves the long-term comfort of users. So what is the outlook for future developments? Micro LED and full array mini LED will likely become cost competitive, delivering OLED light contrast without burn-in. Variable rate refresh up to 480Hz for ultra high frames per second gaming and VR. Integrated eye tracking and adaptive focus to reduce visual fatigue and enabling a part of an object or image that is being looked at directly to be rendered on screen. Sustainability standards will push manufacturers towards recyclable modules and zero mercury components. And finally, AI-driven colour management that auto-calibrates for each application or game that you run in real time. In conclusion, during the past 20 years, computer monitors have progressed from bulky, low-resolution CRTs to ultra-thin, self-emissive panels that deliver 8K resolution, greater than 300Hz refresh, HDR10+, Dolby Vision and near-perfect colour accuracy, while consuming a fraction of the power. These advances have unlocked new workflows for creators, heightened immersion for gamers and fostered healthier viewing habits for everyday users. The momentum towards micro-LED, AI-optimised performance and sustainable design suggests that the next half decade will bring displays that are not only visually superior but also smarter and greener. However, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to click on the link in the description below to discover more videos.